What's up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm flipping my Krakarakin here, my beautiful custom orange and black Krakarakin. And I uh, actually ordered a new set of hardware from Squid Industries to put into this thing. And uh, ever since I did that, this has just become the nuttiest freaking Krakarakin I have ever touched. It is just so well tuned. It's literally got no play whatsoever. Like there's literally nothing in there and it is so nice. I mean, listen to this thing, right? Ugh. It just, it sounds fantastic. It looks fantastic. I really, really like this thing. Uh, one problem that I had with it originally when I bought it was that the, uh, it was kind of chewed up like the uh the screws had been a little chewed up from i think the modding process and just people taking it apart and putting it together again and stuff like that and uh, this one does not have that problem which i am exceptionally happy about i need to i need to get better at this trick i keep doing it's that into this and then i like do a turnover or something what am i doing is it is it because i'm throwing it with that and then i do it there and then i'm yeah okay so if i throw it from the bite handle and i catch it with my pinky I can turn it over to here and then start doing that. Good to know. That's a, uh... oh, well, that went right into the ground. Um, that's one thing that I've been like trying to drill a little bit better recently is like I've been learning new tricks, but trying to remember which tricks switch which handle you're on and like keeping track of what handle you're on is always a bit of a challenge. And so I've just been trying to smooth my flipping in that way where it's like I can be more confident about what handle I'm actually holding at any given time instead of having to worry about it every single moment of my existence. So yeah, but uh, we are not here for this cracker racket in this video. No, no, no. Instead, I have a wonderful package from Squid Industries that we need to open. And uh, I thought that right now would be a great time to do that. So yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, let's crack this thing open. So this is the newer style Squid Industries box, which you might be uh, familiar with at this point. They've had it for a little while now, but it's honestly really, really nice. It is a slide out design box and, uh, oh, secrets can't, can't show you that yet. There's exciting stuff in there. Um, but yeah, it's a slide out design box that's really cool uh it includes just some really nice you know packaging it looks fantastic it's not a super functional design but it is a very pretty design and a very desirable box in my opinion so i do like that a lot now inside of here is the good stuff the first thing you'll notice is that right at the entrance of our little balisong case here is extra hardware. This is interesting. What's up with that? Well, according to Lucas, uh, starting sometime soon, approximately in December, they're gonna start including extra hardware with all of their bushing products, which honestly, very exciting extremely exciting this will bump up their unboxing score undoubtedly because i had talked previously about how i was a little disappointed that they didn't include this kind of stuff before and so uh having that will honestly be fantastic now on top of that we also have this so inside of the standard little sheath thing here we go this is the swordfish so yes that's what's been sent to me today is the squid industries swordfish and you can see that i got it custom engraved on the back it says willhirsch.gay very exciting brandon also got a swordfish i believe his has uh black handles and a red blade which is super cool and one of the things that's nice about the swordfish the swordfish is really interesting because it is fully aluminum and because of its fully aluminum design it allows you to anodize every part of the knife from both sides of the handles to the blade itself and this is honestly a very cool feature so that's what allows Brandon to have a nice red blade on his uh, brand new swordfish and not have to worry about it. I, I think that that's a really cool option instead of, you know, the only other way to make uh, steel the color you want it is to literally get it Cerakoted, which sucks. Um, so yeah, I think this is a much, much better option and a much more desirable option for people to have uh, 
in their collections. It allows you to have so much customizability. I don't think orange is actually a color that they are offering. I believe he specifically made this orange one special for me, which is, I didn't know he was doing that. I just requested orange and then I, I didn't know that there currently isn't an orange option, but I orange might become an option in the future. Obviously it has become an option for a number of their other Bala songs because I think we've proven that people do like orange. So that is good. Um, I don't know when that'll become available and I don't know when more custom options of this Bala song will become available, but I'm certain that uh, the actual skew options for this Bala song are an absolute nightmare because you, you have to consider, right? You're making, instead of just making a blue one and a red one and a silver one and a black one, well now you're doing black with red blade, black with blue blade, blue with black blade, blue with red blade. Like you're, you've got a million different combinations and each one of those has got a different product number and you've got to assemble all of them separately. And so suddenly all of those different variations are going to start creating a lot of confusion in terms of your product line and your manufacturing times and stuff like that. So I can imagine that this has been quite the process to uh, get right. And I'm sure they're currently adapting to it as we speak. But uh, yeah, now what are my thoughts on the swordfish itself? Uh, that's a great question, and I haven't fully solidified them yet. I will say that um, the people that I have had try it have honestly really liked it, especially those that are less uh, knowledgeable about Bala songs. Interestingly enough, the people who are like really, really solid beginners, specifically my husband, really, really liked the swordfish. Um, my husband literally, like I got the swordfish and he took it out of my hands and was like, this is so cool. And then he started flipping it and was like, oh my God, this feels amazing to flip. And then he tried to chaplain with it and he could chaplain with it really easily. And he was like, this is awesome. I need one of these right now. So I'm already getting my husband a swordfish, if that tells you anything. Um, apparently it's a fantastic beginner knife. You know, obviously we're gonna do more testing to confirm all of that once the uh, review goes live, once we actually start working on that, which to be fair, it might not be until next year that you actually see the review of the Swordfish. Are we are that backed up in terms of content? But you know that's the whole reason that we go through the effort of uh, testing these products and really making sure that they are the way they are, or that they are the way they say they are on the tin. Um, for instance, with this product, there is something we need to test a lot of, and that is the fact that it is a pinsless system. There are no pins inside of the swordfish. Instead, you have these kind of lumps inside of there, and those are what allows it to uh, operate properly, I guess. And uh, you can already see a little bit of wear on the orange where the pins have contacted one another. Eventually that will become silver. On Brandon's Balasong, it has already become silver in those spots. Now, is this abnormal? No. Uh, on Balasongs that have aluminum parts that are hitting one another, or uh, on the inked series products from Squid Industries, like my Krakarakin, uh, the place where the Cerakote or the PVD coating contacts the Zen pins usually slows becomes silver with time and so it's not abnormal to see but I would say that it's probably happening a lot faster than normal on uh, this than it would be on something like this which is steel so you can see there's a little bit of silver there on this PVD coated steel but it's really really minor compared to this which I haven't even flipped for very long and you can already see there's some uh, silver spots happening is this the end of the world? Absolutely not. In fact, this is a very, very minor critique and honestly just it comes with the nature of the existence of a fully aluminum balisson. The bigger question is, will the uh, pivot system fail at any point in time? And currently I am of the belief that it won't specifically because the contacts are aluminum on aluminum, which means that the hardness of everything hitting each other is the same. And so if there is deformation, you'll see the same amount of deformation everywhere and it won't really be like focused in the handles or the blades specifically, which is a problem when you have hardened steel and titanium hitting each other. That's where you start to really have issues uh, with deformation. So hopefully this design will allow that not to be a problem, uh, but we will have to see as we flip it to make sure of that. Now, according to Lucas, he had a swordfish-like prototype, like the original prototype idea of this thing for months before they actually uh, delivered it to the public. Like he had 
put it through its paces. He flipped the living crap out of it. I think he had everybody at the office flip the living crap out of it. So it has been a tested design at a bare minimum. However, just because something is tested under ideal conditions at the office, uh, you know, there's no telling how they actually went about flipping it and testing it. You know, those aren't necessarily indicative of the real world. So really, we're just going to have to see as people have swordfishes and get them, uh, you know, does it develop problems with the pivot system? I think that's something that we'll just have to see with time. However, uh, I will say that Squid Industries has a good track record of, you know, pleasing the Balasong community, and they have a good track record of just being a good company in general. Um, and so I would be surprised if, you know, if it came out that this thing does fail after a certain period of time or in a certain way, I would be surprised if Squid Industries did nothing to rectify that situation. I have a feeling if something happens with this guy, they will fix it pretty quickly and create a solution that people like. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I'm kind of slipping up on it a fair bit, and that's because the balance of this thing is very interesting. Um, it's not bad by any means. I do like it and it flips very well, but it is weird. And I think it's because the entire thing is made of aluminum. That means that the blade itself is obviously going to be a lot lighter than a stainless steel blade, like substantially lighter. And this leads to problems, you know, when flipping because it doesn't exactly feel uh, the same as having a stainless steel blade. Um, is that a bad thing? No, not necessarily. And I do think there is some uh, interestingness to it. But as I flip it, I do find myself slipping up more often. And I think that's just because I need to get used to it more. Uh, I also plan on trying out the different uh, weights because you can actually put different weights into the inside of this guy and uh, it'll actually change up the balance of the balisong itself. And so I do want to try messing around with the weights, seeing if I find a better uh, balance that I prefer more. If I take out the weights, will I like it, how it flips better? Or if I add more weights, will I like how it flips better? I really don't know yet. Um, but I'm excited to try it, I think. I think I'm excited to play around with it. I do like that Squid Industries is creating more interesting concepts. Obviously, a fully aluminum balisong is a really cool idea. Uh, I also really like that Squid Industries is kind of creating lighter and lighter balisongs because I think that is kind of where the balisong meta is going to a degree. I think that we've got um, some really good light balisongs that exist now, and that means that you can get more intricate tricks happening and more interesting stuff happening in general. So uh, yeah, balisongs are going in a very interesting direction, and I think this is sort of indicative of that. Oh, one last thing I wanted to bring up is that, oh, hello, friend. <laughs> I've been greeted by a person's dog at the park. Um, what a sweetie. Hello. How are you? <laughs> By the way, uh, if you are greeting a strange dog, this is just random bit of information, but uh, go, go at it with a fist. Uh, never extend your fingers to a strange dog because if they do bite, um, they'll bite your fingers. If you present a fist, they'll sniff your fist, and usually they're trying to sniff, trying to get a, uh, an idea of who you are as a person just from how you smell. And so by presenting a fist to a dog, it's much better. They're much less likely to, you know, bite your whole ass hand than they are to bite your fingers. So um, there's a little tidbit for you. If you're meeting a strange dog, give it a fist, not, a, uh, not your fingers. Anyways, um, one thing I did want to talk about was the bite handle indicator on this guy. You can see it's actually very scary looking, and if I rub my finger along it, it like, it can catch pretty hard. Um, and so honestly, I was pretty intimidated by this bite handle marker. Like, I, uh, I was a little scared by it. And then I was playing around with it, and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bite handle Chaplin. And it's really not that bad. I, I was totally convinced it was going to hurt like a ton and I would immediately have to drop the knife. But no, it's really not that bad. It lets you know, like you can feel a little bit of roughness there and like you can feel that it's biting you technically, but it's really not bad. It's really not that aggressive, even though it looks like it might be super aggressive. And I think that's just due to the shape. I think the shape kind of curves back a little bit before it would actually impact your skin in any too deep of a way. So uh, yeah, 
I don't know, I'm just really, I, I'm interested by this thing, I'm impressed by this thing. I don't know if I'm necessarily completely sold on it and its flipping experience just yet. I think it's very unique and that, in my opinion, warrants it going into pretty much any collection pretty easily. But, you know, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to play around with and I think it's something that I'm going to enjoy uh, kind of learning about and playing with for quite some time. So. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this one. I just wanted to show off the swordfish and talk a little bit about Squid Industries products. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you later. Peace.